Okay. We are out here before. I was out here before. And the end switch on the damper. Right there. Wasn't making so the boiler wouldn't come on. So. Got this. Got a brand new damper there. And. We have to. Switch the stamper out. So. Not a real hard process. I just got to take the screws out. Get the vent off there, not a big deal. And put the new one in and hook the wires up. Just plugs right in. See? That one plugs into. Also on these vent dampers, if you have a standing pilot, if you have a standing pilot, leave that open. If you got um, see it actually says Parker HSI only, you put that plug in there. It just snaps right in. I got a HSI one. Stamps right in the hole. Let me. For some reason it doesn't want to go in. There we go. So that snaps in the hole there. So. <clears throat> Alright, well, let me get this thing off here. top here, get the screws out of the bottom there and there. Okay, this one, as you see, bolted right up. around here all right we got it back in there and before I screw everything together uh, let me turn this thing on here oh, I hear it running see it moving that and we'll get this thing up and running hey, hey, hey. okay here we go on startup it's in the automatic position there's a hold open position right here that way's hold open and there we are sparking up right now And it just lit. So if you run into a problem where these are you know, it's not making the end switch, get this damper to where it makes the end switch and hit hold open and it'll stay running until you can get back to uh, replace the damper. Damper's basically for efficiency. That's basically the only thing the damper's for. Alright guys, it's just a little short repair, not a big deal. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Like and subscribe.